Hi again. Today we're looking at using the pause to split bills. Now this generally happens in one of two ways. Firstly, there's the group that will arrive and announce up front that they're paying separately. And secondly, there's a group who at the end of the night will look at the check and say, can you split this for us? This is called splitting on checkout. But firstly, let's take a look at upfront splitting. Now with upfront splitting, we simply add a name or a number onto the ticket so that we can allocate the order items to a particular name or number. Adding a name does personalize service, so it's worth considering. It's also done typically on a mobile device. So let's look at an example using this Android tablet. So let's say we just add in three slots on the ticket. We'll add um, some menu items. As you can see, we're presented with where to add the item once we hit the menu item. Sharing items is also done just by simply selecting where we're sharing. You can share uh, a portion amounts as well, if you like, and um, continue from there. Let's continue on with the order, some mains. We're basically done with the initial order. We'll send that through to the kitchen. And we'll also uh, print a front of house customer receipt and see what that looks like. As you can see, the kitchen gets uh, the actual names, or in this case, the numbers of the items where they're allocated. And of course, we've got the ticket separated so that we know who's had what on checkout. We can also add um, a person in or a guest as they, if they arrive late. Let's say someone arrives late, and just maybe having a dessert. Let's send that through, and again, we'll print uh, a customer ticket and see what that looks like. Back of house has got the dessert. The main ticket has got all the four uh, positions, and they're split, and you've got a total. And so you're ready for a checkout, in which case would be normally done at the normal pause, and taking payment. Uh, if they want a receipt, we can do that, and we clear again. Taking payment, print and clear. Let's do a split payment, some cash. Let's say $10 there, the rest on the card. Print and clear, down to our last guest, putting it on the card, print and clear. So there we've got our separated tickets, all paid for, all cleared. So that's upfront splitting. Let's take a look at splitting on checkout. We simply add names or numbers onto the ticket and assign the order items accordingly. Let's look at an example. Let's say split this up three ways. We simply hit the item, hit split and assign to the person. Hit the item, split and assign to the person. Split and assign to the person. Here we've got a bottle of red wine, split. Let's split this between the three and you can assign disproportionate amounts, say three glasses, one glass each for those two and hit assign. And working our way through the receipt, assign, split and assign to the person. Once you've completed, you can print the entire receipt if you wish and then we're ready for, for payment. So tapping on the total, credit card, print, that's one, say cash, print, and finally, say credit card, and print, and clear. And we have our three customer tickets, and all paid and checked out. So we have our initial ticket, the, the total, and the three separate splitting tickets. So that is splitting on checkout. So there's a couple of examples on how to split bills. For more information, at your splitability.com. Thank you.